What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of train travel? Slow speeds or maybe long travel times? Well, you can say goodbye to all this. A Canadian company is planning to develop a state-of-the-art train that will be able to reach unimaginable speeds and might even rival air travel. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to tell you about an amazing train that will be able to reach around speeds of 1,000 kilometers per hour. You might be questioning how this could be possible. Well, stick around to find out. Elon Musk and Bezos are known for bringing the future to us. Well, we don't know about space, but a Canadian company is vying for the top spot as it looks to revolutionize travel on land. Before we begin talking about the train, let us first talk about the company behind this project. Transpod is a Canadian startup whose mission is to revolutionize the way people travel between major cities in both developed and developing economies. In 2015, the company's founders saw a need to create a fast, cheap, and environmentally friendly mode of urban transportation that could link people, communities, and businesses. Enter the Transpod line. Canadian-based Transpod Inc. has branches in Alberta, France, and the United Arab Emirates its UAE. So, with this eye on sustainability and innovation, the company has finally begun work on a truly amazing project. Transpod has proposed a fully electric transportation system called the Fluxjet, which would be a hybrid between an aircraft and a train. If built, the trains would be 82 feet long and magnetically levitated, allowing them to transport passengers at speeds of up to 621 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as a commercial plane and more than three times as fast as most high-speed trains. Plus, it produces no pollution at all. The business claims that the Fluxjet may draw electricity from the existing electric grid via magnetic fields, a technology known as contactless power transmission. The levitating train was created with aerodynamics in mind to cut down on drag. However, the Fluxjet's ability to theoretically outrun jets and high-speed trains rely on technology inspired by valence flux, a relatively new field of physics. In July, the company released a video showcasing the the design process for the Fluxjet. The video provides glimpses into the technology and concept animations of what the final product may look like. According to Transpod, the price of a ticket on the Fluxjet will be 44% cheaper than a flight. The initial phase of the project will involve constructing a vacuum tube network connecting Edmonton, Alberta and Calgary, Alberta, Canada, a distance of nearly 200 miles. Assuming a two-minute interval between departures, the proposed system could transport up to 54 people and 10 tons of cargo per train. According to the company, traveling 175 miles between the two cities would take no more than 45 minutes. Now, the Transpod line is the sole route for the Fluxjet, and it is a network of stations in major cities and other strategic places with frequent departures optimized for quick, cheap, and secure transportation. After all, such a train won't be able to travel on regular tracks now, will it? However, this is the only good news we are going to get because you won't be seeing this transport system anytime soon. After all, it's going to take many years and will obviously require billions of dollars to complete. With the help of the British Broughton Capital Group and Chinese state-owned China East Resources Import and Export Company, Transpod was able to secure $550 million in investment in March. The funds are supporting ongoing R&D in addition to plans to construct a test track and carry out high-speed tests between 2023 and 2027. Transpod argues the investment will be worthwhile, citing projections that building the Fluxjet system will result in the creation of up to 140,000 new jobs and an increase of $19.2 billion to the regional GDP. Once the technology is in place, Transpod estimates the annual carbon dioxide emissions could be cut by 636,000 tons. Virgin Hyperloop One, founded by Richard Branson, has also proposed a gliding train system capable of speed of up to 760 miles per hour. As a result of the disappointing performance of their prototype floating pods in tests, about 240 miles per hour, Virgin recently fired off 111 employees and shifted their focus to shipping goods rather than people. In a similar vein, Elon Musk's company, The Boring Company, has been excavating tunnels under both Los Angeles and Las Vegas for years with the intention of installing high-speed hyperloop transit systems that convey passenger pods at speeds of over 6 100 miles per hour. The business has stated that it plans to initiate construction of the Fluxjet line between cities by the year 2027. Transpod estimates that the total cost of the project will be $18 billion. Therefore, it will need to get substantial additional finance from either private investors or government sources before construction can begin. Only Tesla vehicles traveling at speeds of up to about 50 miles per hour have been transported through the tunnel so far. 
This year, Musk promised on Twitter in April that full-scale testing of a Hyperloop will begin. Now, back to Transpod. According to a press release from the company, an environmental impact study and other preparatory building activities have already begun. Up to 140,000 new employment will be created during the construction of this important project, which would increase regional GDP by $19.2 billion. When the Transpod line is fully operational, it will reduce annual CO2 emissions by 636,000 tons, while charging customers about 44% less than an airplane ticket. A miniature version of the Fluxjet was flown in a live demonstration at the Toronto launching ceremony for Transpod. The almost one-ton Fluxjet vehicle successfully performed a takeoff, travel, and landing sequence while remaining inside its prescribed boundaries. Transpod co-founder and chief technology officer Ryan Jen and called this achievement a significant step forward. To better serve passengers and lessen reliance on fossil fuel heavy planes and highways, the Fluxjet is at a nexus of scientific research, technological growth, and huge infrastructure. According to Young Wu, CEO of Mars Discovery District, Transpod absolutely alters the game with ultra high speed zero emission passenger transit and freight transportation between important gateway cities. To compete successfully in the global innovation economy, which is worth multiple trillion dollars, it is time for strong action from our policymakers, investors, and operators to encourage the commercialization of made-in-Canada inventions like Transpod. As of most recent news, Transpod says it has secured $550 million US dollars in investment and is pushing forward with a project that will stretch across the roughly 300 kilometers or 186 miles separating Calgary and Edmonton. Preliminary construction work, including the environmental impact assessment, has commenced, said the Transpod website. At a price tag of 18 billion US dollars, this tube will let passengers travel between the two cities in just 45 minutes for the equivalent of 75 US dollars, saving them either three hours of driving time or the price of a plane ticket, which is now at 125 US dollars. Transpod claims that its pod will divert about a third of the traffic on the highway connecting Calgary and Edmonton, and that its green power will save as much carbon per passenger as planting a tree. As a result, the business anticipates anticipates a yearly decrease in carbon dioxide emissions of 636,000 metric tons. Well, the planting a tree part seems like a stretch, but if it's real, think about the benefit this will have on the environment. But while all the news coming out of Transpod is positive, we have to consider all the problems that have met projects like this. For example, maglev rail is pretty expensive and isn't quite that economically viable. So with that in mind, we need to accept that next-gen systems that need to be kept in vacuums, and that too for hundreds of miles, will be a lot more expensive. Moreover, evacuating air from such a large area is going to require a crazy amount of energy, which isn't going to help with costs or the environment-friendly claim. Furthermore, God forbid leaks, breaches, seismic activity, or any such sort of malfunction is going to have catastrophic results, as there isn't any possible contingency while the train is traveling. Finally, even a slight deviation from a straight line at 1,000 km per hour will throw passengers and cargo around. This could lead to potential injuries to travelers and lawsuits for the company. Despite all these challenges, Transpod looks ready to start the project and we'll have to wait and see what they bring to us. So that is all the time we have today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our videos. See you all next time.